Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily, um, courtesy of Football Flash. Uh, the brand new app which is sponsoring us and um, this is your one-stop shop for all your football needs so links are in the description get yourself involved download the app and you can see all the latest stories now first of all what we are going to go with today is again Manchester United Jose Mourinho and former Manchester United player Paul Parker has said that Jose Mourinho was never right for the job in the first place um, hindsight is a wonderful thing and a lot of people are saying this um, but at the time when you know Manchester United employed him everyone was over the moon about it you can think about some of their previous appointments after Sir Alex Ferguson and the David Moyes and Louis van Gaal era and it looked like they'd got a manager with a winning pedigree um, and a manager that could actually steady the ship and start to bring the glory days back to Manchester United but it's actually been far from that. It's actually been worse than that. And it's probably been right up there with the catastrophe that has been David Moyes era. Um, so what will happen at Manchester United? They've got a big Champions League game coming up um, against Valencia. And then they've got a massive Premier League game at the weekend against Newcastle. And I feel that if Mourinho wins these next two games, then it kind of buys him a bit more time. We've then got an international break. And then I feel that... Um, yeah, he's going to keep carrying on. The problem Manchester United have, and I've said this before, is that he's just signed an extension to his contract. And if they were to sack him, the payout is going to be massive. So um, big problems for Manchester United. Um, next piece of news involves Daniel Sturridge. And I mentioned this yesterday as well um, about him needing to play 90 minutes. But, you know, people have said that he needs to bide his time and he needs to wait. And in all uh, fairness he probably needs an injury um to one of the current front three you've got um salah of course he's never going to take his place um and you've got Firmino, and then you've got mane and those are the front three so daniel sturridge is going to have to bide his time and wait because he's not going to take any of those places at the moment if he's likely to take anyone's place it may well be Firmino. Um, but not at the moment. He just needs to carry on doing what he's doing, scoring goals, um, stay injury free, and then I feel he may well, um, you know, go and get his place within the Liverpool side. Last piece of news involves Arsenal. Ian Wright has came out and said that the one player that Arsenal cannot afford to lose right now um, is not Alexandre Lacazette, it's not Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, it's Danny Welbeck. Now, of course, he scored four goals for us this season already. Um, and he's an important player for the side. He's an important um, player that we can bring on when things are not going right. Um, works really hard for the team. Not the most glamorous. Won't score as many goals as the likes of Aubameyang and Lacazette over the course of the season. But he is an important player. And I kind of have to agree with what Ian Wright's saying now. Danny Welbeck, it's kind of gone under the radar, but he also is in the last year of his contract and he also can leave for free. And I think everyone's been so caught up in the Aaron Ramsey saga that we've kind of forgot about this. So be interesting to see if we get this tied down and whether we can get him to a new contract or not. But we will wait and see. So that is it for today's UFF Daily. Like I said, links are in the description. Um, Football Flash, the brand new app your one-stop shop for all the football news. So get yourself involved. I will see you lot tomorrow. I'm out of it.